There she is on the dock, just waiting, waiting for that weather. Very lucky, very fortunate to uh, be an employee at a boatyard. Uh, gives you certain uh, abilities to be able to, you know, lay up uh, if the weather's bad for a little bit and, you know, still be able to work or uh, at least help out in a little bit and also be able to utilize the facilities. So pretty good. We're going to go check it out down below. Ah, lovely. Old Mongo's got his blade. Freshly painted bottom. Hopefully I don't get too much growth on there. But we are looking pretty stout, pretty ready uh, to get out there into the old ocean as soon as things calm down a bit. Essentially one of the problems that uh, I'm seeing is on the NOAA hurricane site. There's two big systems they're worried about and uh, I'm worried as well. So we're going to hold fire until things sort of calm down and see what happens and find a better weather window because I'm terrible at that. But board here we've got uh, our mainsail. We got our life raft sort of lashed down. Typically don't leave it there when I have bad weather coming because that uh, can essentially be a pretty vulnerable spot. I move it back to the cockpit there. But um, yeah, I got a couple sails in bags ready. And uh, yeah, the mast came down, rewired everything, all the lights work, and switched out a few halyards. Not too much work, because she was pretty much ready anyway, but um, back here in the cockpit, we're, Still have a few projects here and there that we're doing, but mostly mostly little extra things that I thought I would do out at sea. And you know, might as well take care of them while I'm on land. But Mongo's looking well. We were able to sort of uh, fine tune it. I've got the two new solar panels up there, and this time I actually independently uh, I'm running them independent instead of in uh, a series or however they were hooked together before. I can't even remember. But now they have independent charge controllers, so I think that may help a little bit. But uh, yeah, essentially it's the same old Sparrow, uh, just with a little bit uh, more oomph put into it and uh, some of the big projects really done. So, you know, with the new bowsprit, that uh, gives you quite a bit of confidence. And when you take the mast down and then bring it back up, um, that always helps because you get a good thorough check. So we'll go down below next. Boom, welcome. <laughs> so, essentially, uh, we're, we're in kind of offshore mode, less uh, a couple of things that still need to be stowed, but pretty sure we're, we're looking pretty good to get out there and uh, face some smugly North Atlantic stuff uh, until we get far enough south to hit the trade winds. But, yeah, essentially, I've got the, uh, the old nav station here, got my goal zero little extra thing for charging portable stuff basically have the uh the gps which brian gave me oh nice i just rewired the vhf so it's good that it's picking stuff up got the sewing machine there um this is sort of the auxiliary bunk for when we're on a uh, port tack and then that's the normal one that i use and um yeah fridge is fully stocked ice cold we got tons of uh frozen meats and things like that in there but everything else pretty simple all the gas everything is working well um and yeah the library there and there got a few extra books and just up forward this is the part that i still need to sort of organize not sure about that grill still trying to figure that one out it was given to me so i don't know uh may not take it We'll have to sort of see, but a few of these boxes need to go, get all that stowed. And then obviously we've got the bathroom, the head in here, no big deal, just a regular old thing. And now uh, we'll see, yeah, it's, it's essentially, it's about it. That's that's the interior mode. And that's what we're, we're working with down here. Uh, I've spent, I think around like 500 or so days uh, alone at sea on this old girl and not all the times are great, but usually they are. So uh, looking forward to getting back out there to uh, another long, long distance sail. So 
that's the check-in for Mighty Sparrow. And at this point, all we're doing is checking the weather over and over again, looking for that good weather window. And uh, as soon as we get it, we are shooting out of here as quick as can be. So uh, wish us luck. We'll keep tinkering away and uh, hopefully produce some more videos and stuff like that before I take off. And uh, thanks for all the support. Have a good one.